you so much for joining me. Now this video is going to form part of a new playlist that I'm creating called Coaching. And this is where I go through general advice or I'll talk about a topic and we'll just explore it in depth together. And it may contain a bit of astrology, it may not. So this is kind of more general information. Um, if you like the astrology videos, you can of course just keep watching those, but I'm sure some of you would also like to watch these videos too. Let me know in the comments below if you like this kind of thing, because these topics are big and we've all experienced heartbreak. That's the topic for today. So I'm coming up with this as a topic because one of my clients in Sweden, she is going through some heartbreak at the moment and I wanted to create this video as a support piece for her. So um, this goes out to you and I hope you do manage to catch this video. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to explore the flip side of heartbreak. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to call this video. Yeah, something like that. I'll work it out. Um, okay, so I'm just going to draw a little diagram. And before I do that, actually, one of the things I recommended to my client in Sweden was a couple of books. One of those books was by Chuck Spezzano. Wholeheartedness, healing our heartbreaks. This man is an absolute genius. I love all of his work. I think he is absolutely incredible and um, do check him out he really knows his stuff I have consumed a lot I've turned to this book so many times uh, on behalf of myself and, and clients too um, so this is a really really good book he's got a PhD in psychiatry um, terrific you know goes all around the world all that kind of thing and the other thing that he created that's absolutely wonderful is this thing called the enlightenment pack by the way, I'm going to put links to these below. Um, I don't get any, any kickbacks from Amazon or anything like that. I would tell you if I do, but I don't. This is genuine, genuine plug happening here. This is the Enlightenment book. This is fantastic. I had this at an old workplace where I was, I don't know, some years ago, and I was in the lift, and the CEO came in the lift, and he goes, what are you reading? Because he saw I was holding a book and my wallet and I thought, because I was holding it away from him, I was like, oh no, I don't want him to see my kooky books and all the things I read. Anyway, he goes, what are you reading? And I said, um, I mean, we were stuck in a lift, I had to show him. I said this, and because each one of these talks about a different tarot card anyway. And um, he said, oh, that's fantastic. And he said, can I read it? And I was like, you want to read this? Anyway, he took it from me, he read it. He absolutely loved it. So isn't that amazing? everybody can benefit from this even people you don't think would like reading he loved it all right so let's get on with my little diagram here because i've got a little diagram to show you my thoughts on the flip side of heartbreak what does that mean what is she talking about okay let's get into it so we've got sad happy we're gonna have devastated I don't even know, have I spelt that right? I don't think so, it doesn't matter. Just follow my voice. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll draw the next one next. So to really draw out this concept, we've got sad, happy. We've got devastated, elated. And look at that, it's being stretched, right? It's being stretched. What are we stretching? Well, we are stretching the heart that's what we're doing right and that's what heartbreak does and it's not nice no one likes it, it hurts right it's pain it's actual pain and that's the thing and that's why artists have such a place in life and, and musicians and you know okay doctors will actually cut you open and fix the heart but who do you go to for heartbreak you can't go to a doctor for that right and those who go to an astrologer are very wise <laughs> because you can find out timings on these things and you can um, you can work out, you know, when am I going to meet the love of my life? That we, can, we can see these things. Breakdown. I'm going to call that breakdown. So again, it's being stretched. I put question marks here. But you could have the words whole or holy, right? 
if you want it to heartbreak or break down, what's the opposite, whole or holy? And what's being stretched? As I said, it's the heart. Okay, so every time you experience something on this earth plane of duality, the opposite is created. So, you know, a bit of sadness, a bit of happiness has been created. The flip side has been created, right? Uh, if, if you're devastated, elation is there for you and it's there for you in the now, okay? And, that, and that's why I have a coaching playlist as well because like astrology, we're dealing with the future and the past, but very often we need to be in the now and a lot of get work gets done in the now and a lot of work we need to do is about keeping us in the now. We, you want to stay in the now, it's where all your power is. And that's where the ability to access that flip side is as well. Okay, the now is where it's at. Um, those of us who are into astrology, we're into future and past and scooting through timelines, doing all that, I mean, that's great. But sometimes we really, really just need to be in the now and access the flip side as, as we would want to do here. So when we've got heartbreak, you know, um, whole heart your whole heart is being stretched and space is being made for more love than you can possibly imagine and that's why I've put question marks here okay because I, I, don't, I can't even put a word to that right is it bliss might be might be better than bliss might be not, might not be words for it okay so if you are down here in this very painful place and I know what that's like and it's awful but what you need to do is you need to feel it to heal it. Because what you want to do, and what people do, when we feel happiness, oh great, we feel it, and it flows through and it's gone. Elation, fantastic, we feel it, flows through and it's gone. Devastated, we're like, oh, I don't want to feel devastated. Oh, I don't want to feel it, I don't want to feel it, so I'm going to stay here. What would be better is if you just go, do you know what, yeah, I'm going to feel that devastation and it flows through and that's what you really want to do when it comes to heartbreak and people do this they go oh I don't want to feel that I don't want to feel that no 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 I don't want to no, no, no. better just feel it let it pass through let it pass through because then you'll access this quicker okay you got to feel it to heal it and it's it's not easy and what are some of the ways that you can just 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 have some courage and go through it this is not going to break you it's not going to kill you I know we call it heartbreak but it's not it's not they're unpleasant emotions, they need to be released. And you might have to, I don't know, close yourself off in a bathroom and cry for a while. And at, at work, you might be at work and you might be, oh God, and I just have to get out of this meeting and I have to go and I have to feel it. Go, excuse yourself, feel it, allow the emotion to come through. Um, go for a run, that's another thing you can do. The other thing is um, write it out. This is one of my favorites. Write everything on paper, tear it up. Burn it safely if you can. Um, if you can't, put it in a recycle bin, get rid of it, right? Get it out of your system, get it out of your body. Um, and be with the body, nurture the body. It's really important. And that kind of, um, and I said that to my client, my Swedish client, that it will activate Venusian um, energy, feminine energy for you. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Um, be with the body, nurture the body, self-love right? That's going to be really important as well. So yeah, on this topic of heartbreak, um, what can I say? Uh, it's a big topic. I'm only just, I'm looking at the time here. It looks like about nine minutes. I mean, I've got so much more to say, but um, this was just my short video to tell you that I know that you're in pain right now, and I know that it's hard, but, um, but know that the opposite has been created too. Your heart has been stretched, okay, and it's been stretched. Once you cycle through that, once you get out of it, the, that new big love will come in, okay, and you want to clear space. That's another thing you want to do, clearing space. So what's a really great activity? Clutter clearing. Get rid of old stuff. Get rid of, if there was a particular jumper that you wore with that person all the time, or get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of the old stuff, get rid of the old dead energy, make space, clear the way, 
and um, that that new big love will come through so you're being stretched but you're being stretched for the new to come in and for something new and wonderful that you might not even be able to put words to right so that wants to come in and you've got to allow it so I hope you find this helpful um, as I say there's a lot more to say there's another diagram I wanted to do but I'll save that diagram for another video I think we're at that 10 minute mark so I hope you found this helpful um, please share it with anyone if you think they might benefit from this welcome to the new subscribers and I look forward to seeing you next time